Hi everyone, here we are in sunny Soya at Castellanges. It's a townhouse steeped in history and today it's not going to be just one of us, it's going to be two of us doing a property tour. I'm going to introduce you to Melanie, our new sales manager. Do you want to come over here and say hello? Hey Maria, the property tour good morning started. guys. I'm the sales manager here and this is one of my favourite places in Mallorca and we're going to show you Castellanges. We are back at the house of Castellanges. I love the space in this house. It gives just so much authenticity and beauty. You can see from the original stones that welcomes you from the entrance all the way through to the outside garden. We're gonna go there later. But in the meantime, this townhouse dates back to 1910. The original owners were from the Bloomsbury group who were artists. And that's why this house oozes with authenticity. People come to Soya to get creativity and you can really see why. You have five bedrooms and eight bathrooms and we're gonna walk you through now to the open plan kitchen and the lounge. Follow me. This is another incredible space that I absolutely love. It's perfect for family, for friends. Remember, you're in Soyer, so people can visit and you have so much space to do that. You can be cooking, looking at the children that are in the pool. You've got a wine cooler, you've got a fridge freezer, just microwave, fully equipped kitchen. And then you have this beautiful living space, beautifully and bright. Grandad could be sitting here, and the fire to be in the winter. And you also have the air conditioning to keep you cool. So enough of the home comforts, follow me. Let's go find Maria. So this opens out to the patio area, the outside space. Is it happy hour yet, Maria? Not yet, still got a couple of hours left. <laughs> Are you gonna show us the outside area? Absolutely. So this is probably, well, two of my favorite things about this house is that you have this beautiful outside space. You should have seen it before the renovation. It was completely overgrown. I think we can probably show you a picture. You have this beautiful pool area, which didn't exist before, which is great for cooling off in the, in the summer months. And another favorite thing about this house is its location. As you can see, it's got this incredible backdrop of these uh, orange groves, which is typical of the Soya Valley, the sorry, Orange Valley, as they call it. And it's just so peaceful. You know, you're right in the heart of Soya. You don't have that kind of town buzz of the cars going past. You're in a really peaceful spot, yet you can be in the center of the town within about 10 minutes by foot. So it passes the baguette test. It's an incredible spot to just pop in and out of the village. And you have a pool, you have sun, you have light. It just ticks so many boxes for a base in the town. So in this space here, you have a kitchen and barbecue area, which is fantastic when you're entertaining your guests. And there's also a bathroom with a shower, which is great if you wanna just cool down after your swim or dip in the pool. So now I'm gonna take you back into the entrance area and we're gonna head upstairs where Melanie is gonna show us the first floor. I bet you expected it was Maria coming up those steps, but it's me. Look at this window. It is one of the most inviting windows I think I've ever seen in a property. You've got the backdrop of the Tramontana, you've got the view of the pool, and you've got the chill out area. This is five bedrooms and eight bathrooms, but I'm gonna let you into a secret, follow me. Look at this space. This is an extra six bedroom, or it could be a study. There are so many different possibilities. Just to the left, you have an ensuite, or it could be a separate bathroom if you have it as a study. So we have two other bedrooms on this floor, one to the right, one to the left. Both of them are ensuite. Um, both of them are air conditioned, but you don't actually need it because you have a beautiful breeze that comes through both sides of the building. Now it's your time. Hector, show them around.
let's go up and discover some more rooms upstairs. Come with me. It's me again. So here we are on the second floor. Uh, Melanie's just showed you the first floor. It's got pretty much the same layout as the first floor. So you've got uh, two bedrooms, one on either side of this beautiful open uh, space that has this incredible view of the Orange Valley. And then you have this massive master bedroom, which has tons of possibilities. So let's go have a look inside. So as you can see, it's quite bare at the moment. The furniture is basic. Uh, but it's such a huge space. You've got these really high ceilings. It's got a massive uh, ensuite bathroom and it's just got tons of potential. You could put a really beautiful master bed in there, huge master bed, and just fill it up with beautiful furniture. And it could be an incredible space. It's very basic at the moment, but I think it has tons of potential. Welcome back to the beautiful roof terrace of Castaranjes. So that concludes our tour for today. What do you think of it, Mel? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm so excited for the next one. Yeah, Are this you? is going to be my last one for a while, as you can see. <laughs> um, so I'm sure Melanie will enjoy taking you around the next houses. See you soon. Yep, bye bye.